First off, let me start this video by saying my condolences to D1 Chosen for losing his father. I know that's a tough one to lose, um, or anyone in your family, let alone your your, your father. Uh, so yeah, my condolences to you, bro. I don't know what it's like, what it would be like if I lost my dad. I mean, I don't know how close you were to your father. I know you said that uh, you wish you told him you loved him more. So whatever your relationship was with them, at the end of the day, he still was your father. You were his son, and it's a tough loss. So my condolences to you, sir. But uh, let's get to this fucking football. I'm going to dissect your fucking video as we go along here. So let's play this. Fucking Rams. Motherfucking Rams. <laughs> what is there to say about the motherfucking Rams? D1 Chosen don't have a hate for the Rams. No hate for the Rams. Okay. Have a little disdain for them. Got a disdain. I got some tie Especially for that ass. Some trip. That over fucking rated head coach. Huh? Jeff Fisher, what the fuck has Jeff Fisher done? What the fuck has Jeff Fisher done since he's been with the Rams? What, 6 and 10 last year? 7 and 9? 7, 8 and fucking 1? And no, he didn't make the playoff, Panther fans. What the fuck has fucking Jeff Fisher done? Let's stop you right there. Okay, anyone who knows football knows Jeff Fisher. Anyone who knows football might not know who Joe Philbin is. I mean, does Joe Philbin even have a career as a player? Fuck no. I think uh, Joe Philbin's fucking record is like what twenty three and twenty five. If I'm not or twenty four and twenty five, a total of what like less than fifty games. And uh, Jeff Fisher's record is uh, like one sixty two and one forty seven, or somewhere around there, with the postseason record of five and six. Like I said, with the postseason record, Joe Philbin don't even have a postseason record. Let's just throw that out there. And anyone that, like, that knows uh, Jeff Fisher's track record, it speaks for itself. What track record does Joe Philbin even have, bro? I mean, when he was with the Tennessee Titans as head coach, even as a player, I think he played for the, uh, I, I, you know, I don't think he played for the Oilers. Maybe he did. I don't, I don't go too far back with that shit. But anyway, um, he was consistent as fuck when it came to, uh, being a head coach. He was even, the, I think, the offensive coordinator for the Rams, the Los Angeles Rams. So there's some history there. And he went to uh, USC. So uh, being a Cali boy, I back Jeff Fisher like a motherfucker. Um, but uh, like I said, the track rec record speaks for itself. I mean, no postseason, under 50 games as the head coach. I'd take Jeff Fisher over Joe Philman hands down. Two hands fucking down any day of the fucking week. So D1 Chosen, you're fucking smoked out. I think, I, I think it's because your lights are off. You don't know what the fuck is going on. when it, You're just running your mouth. Uh, I think you're still hurt over the fact that the fucking Nine and Rampire bitch slapped your fucking organ your all your trash talkers and shit. So you're, now you want to go on an offseason rant with the Rams because you feel I guess you feel maybe it's an easy target or some shit. Fuck that shit. So I'm here to set your ass straight. Um, Jeff Fisher was supposed to get hired by either the Rams or the Dolphins back in 2012. Yeah, you're right. But if you know Jeff Fisher's scheme, he likes to run the ball and he loves his quarterbacks. You guys didn't have Ryan Tannehill back in 2012. You guys, I think you guys had Lamar Miller. So what the fuck was Jeff Fisher going to do with the goddamn Miami Dolphins according to his motherfucking scheme? So yeah. He hopped on the Rams for the simple fact that they did have Sam Bradford, let alone we all know Sam Bradford's story. He turned out to be a fucking bust, but hey, he's not with us no more. So, I mean, I think you're sour that the fu at the fucking he passed on the damn Dolphins and went to the Rams. I, I really do think you're sour about that because, like I said, Joe Philman, no comparison to Jeff Fisher whatsoever. I don't give a fuck how you fucking twist this video, what pretzel you want to twist it into. No comparison, D1. And you're fucking blind if you don't think so. So let's keep going. Hmm? And, yeah, and you know what's the funny part? And you know what's the funny part? Is that the Rams or something like, something like that? Like, well, what the fuck has he done? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just stick with the motherfucking Rams. Okay. Like, y'all motherfuckers has botched. Y'all have botched the whole Fisher fucking uh, um, era. 
Y'all haven't done shit. But then they'd be like, D1 Chosen, look at the division they playing. So fucking what? Look at the division they playing. The division they playing, they've been at. The division we play in has a lot to do with it, bro. I mean, I don't. There's a reason why we're in the toughest division, but that's excuses. And I agree with you on doesn't matter on what division we're in because you're right, dude. Um, Jeff Fisher hasn't really done much with the Rams, and it takes time to rebuild a team. It doesn't happen overnight. And as far as last year goes, compared to this year, we have off we have you know offensive weapons this year. We have Nick Foles. Um, I do believe he's going to turn it around for us. That's what I believe in. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not trying to get too crazy. Like I say, I am in pain. And I did take a pain pill this morning. It's about like 7.30 in the fucking, well, actually 8.30 in the morning right now. Uh, but I just had to come out with a response. But uh, yeah, let's just keep going They've here. They've been holding their own. What? Last year, y'all went two and four. The year before that, you went one and five. But the year, but the year after that, Fish the first. Uh, okay, if you go back 2012, 13, 14, we've had similar records. Seven, you know, eight and eight. Uh, seven and nine. Uh, so I don't get what the fuck you're saying. Other than last year, last year was the only year you guys even were relevant. I mean, it doesn't matter. Since 2012, from 2015, you still hear more about the Rams than you do about the fucking Miami Dolphins. I mean, let's just put it out there. Uh, Defensive wise, we've always been great. Offense, you know, kind of lax. But you hear more about the Rams than you ever do about the fucking Miami Dolphins, dude. Like y'all went five zero and then tied with the five. Me and him used to listen to this. So, 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 and then, and then once we spanked them that year, they proceeded to lose. I and I, we was what with the Jets, like what two, three years, I think. Out of here, man. Oh my god, trash talking with some show pen. Who the fuck does that, man? I mean, what what else is there, what else there is there to say about these fucking Rams, man? I mean, you don't know if I mean, being what else is there to say? When when has the Dolphins been relevant other than 72 and 73 going back to back? I'll give you that. You guys went back to back. I mean, I wasn't even fucking born then. My sister wasn't even fucking born then. That, that chick's damn near 40 year fucking years old. She's 40 something years old. And she wasn't even. So why, I don't get why the fuck you're saying. What is it to say about the Rams? Do you guys even have a championship in the 2000 era? I know we had it in 99, but we went back to back in 99 and 2000. So since the 70s, you guys have been fucking trash and will stay fucking trash. You guys ain't doing shit in your division. You guys will never do shit in your division. That's why during the offseason, no one talks about them fucking Miami Dolphins. No one, and no one will. I mean, I get you. You wanted to, you know, reply to my to my going through it video. I get it. But if you're gonna reply to a video, at least reply with some fucking knowledge and something that you can back up that has some stature to it. Because you know what? As far as Miami Dolphins, you guys are fucking here, and the Rams are up here. I don't give a f just because we're in an NFC West makes us a higher caliber team just off the bat. Um, but I I I really don't. I mean, like I said, I'm in pain, and I really don't want to just keep going on this shit, but. Uh, I don't even know if this video fucking makes sense because I said I'm highly medicated, but you got some, you, you got it all wrong, D1. If you think that the Dolphins are even considered, uh, a, are even on the the Rams' level, I know you 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 slapped us around back in whenever the fuck we played 2013 or whatever the fuck we played. I, I that's cool, whatever. You can have that one fucking win, dude. I mean, what the fuck does it matter? About one fucking win, and then we went to go lose seven straight games or whatever the fuck. Doesn't fucking matter, dude. And the fact is that you are right. The Rams, we can win in our division. It's the, it's the fucking lousy teams that we lose to. And it fucking pisses me off that uh, we can't uh, have a winning fucking record for, you know, it, it's it's been long overdue. And... Uh, I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. I, I really want to hear what you have to say because there's really not too much for me to just argue over the Rams or Dolphins. I mean, like, there really is. I mean, it would be different if you're the Niners or a Seahawks fan or something. Like that. Then we can go back and forth on shit because I don't ever fucking see your We don't ever see your fucking team. And when we do, I mean, obviously you guys beat us last time. But well, it, if we saw each other this year, I guarantee it. 
that we would have beat that ass. We would beat that ass. I mean, it's there's no comparison on that shit. Um, so then you go on about um, about uh, Austin Davis and Sean Hill and shit and this and that and and um, you know what I mean like. We have a different offensive coordinator. We have offensive linemen now. We've always had our defense. I don't know if you, a, anyone who knows football, anyone who knows football knows that defense wins the games. Um, so for you bashing that our defense that, that over the RG trade and we've lacked to build an offense, if you look at it, all the RG, RG3 trade shit all resulted in defensive players. No offensive player came from that RG3 trade. So the shit you just said is irrelevant, talking about how all the draft picks we pick up, we failed to build an offense. No shit. There were defensive pickups, you dumb fuck. But anyway. We don't have Sean Heimer no more. I think that motherfucker's lousy. I'm glad he's gone. We don't have Sean Heimer no more. We have Greg Williams as a defensive coordinator. We have uh, we have the new offensive coordinator. We have a new quarterback. We have fresh new um, offensive linemen. There really is no comparison, dude. And the fact that you are bragging about or even trying to compare the the dog or whatever the fuck your motive behind this video was, it really holds no ground. And it's sad that you're gonna sit there and reminisce about your dad and talk about my Rams at the same time. Keep your dad and the Rams separate. Keep the Rams out your mouth. Keep your dad's and your thoughts. And that's just that right there, dude. So I'm gonna throw this out there, just a quick response. I didn't get in too much detail, but it's fuck the Dolphins. There's no comparison as a franchise between Dolphins and the Rams. The Rams are a way better franchise. We have more wins. We have, um, well, you actually have one more championship than us, but we have a bunch of other championships before the Super Bowl era. I mean, history is there to back us. History is not there to back you. Fuck Dan Marino. Fuck Tannehill. Fuck Lamar Miller. Fuck No Sean Moreno. Fuck your defense and your special teams. It's a Rams world, bro. So, this isn't really a hate video. This isn't a diss video. This is just a slap you in the face video with a couple facts. You know what I mean? Because your ass has smoked out the game to think that uh, you can attack my Rams with some dolphin knowledge. I mean, the Niners slapped that ass silly. The Niners, the Niner Empire got into your fucking ass with Pedro and all that other shit. Don't compare it, dude. Don't compare it. So I'm going to put this video out there just for you to see. Um, I know it probably didn't, like I said, it probably doesn't really make too much sense, but anyone who knows football knows that the Rams higher caliber team than the Miami fucking Dolphins. I'm sorry to tell you. But, um, so Cal. I wasn't really talking too much football. I mean, I take it how you want it. I know my football. I mean, I don't care if you question it or not. Um, but 23 and 25 and 162 on 47 with the postseason record. Enough said. Fuck Joe Fieldman. Jeff Fisher's a way better coach than Joe Fieldman. Will be and will ever be. It's a Rams world. Horns up. And fuck what a Miami Dolphin fan has to say.